Hi, it's Katrina. From cute and cuddly panda bears to tiny little snails, here are nine animals you might not expect could be dangerous. Number nine, giant pandas. People commonly view giant pandas as cuddly, gentle giants, and this misconception is partially due to their adorable little faces and roly-poly ways. Plus, cartoons and movies make them even cuter. Even watching them in captivity, they seem to be nothing but nice. But you should never try to get too close to a giant panda, a wild one especially, let alone snuggle with one. After all, they are bears. Captive and wild pandas are quite different from one another. While those under human care tend to fit the cute and cuddly stereotype, stereotype to some degree, wild pandas tend to shatter almost anyone's vision of these animals. These deceptively adorable creatures are dangerous either way. I mean, nature is tough, so you have to be tough to survive. The giant panda can be potentially dangerous. In 2006, a drunk 28-year-old man decided he would go hang out with the pandas in Beijing City Zoo. He jumped inside the enclosure to show off to his girlfriend and tried to pet a panda. The panda was not amused and attacked him, tearing apart his Half. The injury came courtesy of the panda's bite force, which ranks among the highest of all carnivores, since they do eat bamboo, which is one of the toughest plants on the planet. In 2009, two other tourists were attacked after falling inside the enclosure, one in January and one in June. Both times, the panda went for their legs and feet as they tried to get away, but it refused to let go. It was only when zookeepers were able to distract the panda long enough that they were able to escape. Both, like the first man, needed major reconstructive surgery. The panda's bite force is not the only thing to blame for attacks on humans. These incidents occur simply because pandas are wild animals, and it's unnatural for them and us to be within close proximity to one another. At the end of the day, no matter how friendly a panda seems or how tempting it is to try petting or interacting with one, it's a bad idea. Sometimes, a little bit of common sense goes a long way. After all, just because pandas look like giant teddy bears doesn't mean that they are, especially not a scared or threatened one. Number 8. Pelicans Perhaps best known for their long beaks and enormous pouch in their throat, pelicans are pretty big birds. The brown pelican is the largest pelican species. With wingspans of up to almost 10 feet, these skilled hunters swoop down to the water from great heights and scoop up fish using their enormous mouths. Contrary to popular belief, their pouch is used to capture food and not to store it later like a lunchbox. They use them as fishing nets of sorts and will drain any water away, leaving fish or whatever else it might capture inside ready to swallow whole. And they don't just swallow fish. Kids in London watched in shock as a pelican swallowed a pigeon whole in front of them. They also will eat crustaceans, amphibians, turtles, and other birds if they have to. Pelicans have few predators in their natural environments, which doesn't necessarily make them dangerous to humans, but it definitely puts other creatures in a risky position. But pelicans do occasionally attack people since they are pretty brave. In 2018, a pair of pelicans attacked students at a graduation ceremony for Pepperdine University and Malibu, California. The birds swooped in on the seaside ceremony as graduates received their diplomas on a lawn overlooking the Pacific Ocean. One of the pelicans landed on a spectator who flung it back into the air. Then the bird made its appearance on the red carpet in the middle of the ceremony and resisted multiple attempts by bystanders to shoo it away. Eventually, the stubborn pelican waddled off on its own. This wasn't the first time a human was attacked by a pelican, and it probably won't be the last. In 2010, Australian TV anchor Steve Jacobs sustained an arguably more painful encounter than anyone at the Pepperdine graduation ceremony. A pelican bit him in the rear end. Thankfully, there was an animal caretaker nearby who pulled the bird away from the man's behind. They will gang up on any other birds trying to steal their food, even from raptors. And they won't hesitate to grab another bird by the neck and try to drown it as they steal their fish. Biologists are not surprised by their aggressive piracy. And now for number seven. But first, big thank you to Mahesh H and Nicole Leitz for supporting this channel. Thanks so much! And if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Origins Explained family. And let us know any scary animal encounters you've had in the comments below. Number 7. Dolphins Hope this isn't too scary for you. Dolphins have a friendly reputation thanks largely to their use for entertainment in aquatic theme parks. Many of these establishments offer visitors, including children, the opportunity to interact or even swim with dolphins. There are also many stories going back hundreds of years of dolphins keeping people company.
company in the open ocean, and even saving humans in time of need. Plus, you know, Flipper. But dolphin attacks on humans are not unheard of, and they seem to be on the rise. Both captive and wild dolphins have made headlines in recent years for becoming unpredictably aggressive against people. There is a wild female dolphin named Dusty who is internationally famous for swimming with humans off the County Clare, Ireland coast. But in 2012, she attacked a woman who tried interacting with her while she was swimming with someone else. As it turns out, Dusty is very territorial, and this was just one of several incidents that transformed her reputation from friendly to fierce. The woman must have gotten too close for comfort. But this wasn't the first time Dusty had attacked someone. A decade earlier, in 2003, the otherwise placid dolphin barreled toward another woman, cracking two of her ribs and sending her to the hospital. Eventually, authorities warned swimmers, including the tourists who flocked to the seashore in hopes of meeting Dusty, to steer clear. In 2016, the BBC published a story about the darker side of dolphins, called Cute and Cuddly Dolphins Are Secretly Murderers. As you probably know, dolphins are incredibly intelligent, and Richard Connor, co-director of the Dolphin Research Alliance, says that just like humans, they can be nasty and conniving. There are many facets to their personality that we don't necessarily understand. While it may seem like common sense to avoid interacting with a wild animal, we have a natural affinity for dolphins. But even captive dolphins are also known to attack people. Late last year, two dolphins attacked a 10-year-old British girl named Lexi Yeo while she swam with the creatures at a tourist attraction in Mexico called Dolphin Discovery. The pair repeatedly dragged Lexi underwater as trainers desperately struggled to rescue her. Eventually, the child managed to cling to her bodyboard, enabling staff to reach her and bring her to safety. Everyone got quite the scare. Little Lexi's experience is just the latest example of a noticeable uptick of captive dolphins becoming aggressive with humans in recent years. Number 6. Leopard Seals Another animal that looks adorable and friendly but should be approached with caution, or actually not at all, is the leopard seal. Native to the southern ocean, it's the only known seal species that regularly hunts and kills warm-blooded prey. Leopard seals spend most of their time on the Antarctic pack ice, but they disperse northward during fall and winter, sometimes visiting human-inhabited regions, including New Zealand. They are much larger than they sometimes look in pictures, or at first glance, with females who are larger than males reaching up to 11.8 feet long and weighing as much as 1,100 pounds. Leopard seals are among Antarctica's top predators, and are only known to be preyed upon by killer whales. Scientists in Antarctica have spent many years with leopard seals, some even call them puppy dogs. Attacks on humans are very rare, but leopard seals can and will defend themselves when they feel threatened. The first human fatality resulting from a leopard seal attack happened in 2003, when British marine biologist Kirsty Brown was dragged underwater while snorkeling off the Antarctic Peninsula. Experts fear these attacks may become more common as the number of researchers working in Antarctica increases, according to National Geographic. For both their safety and ours, people are advised to keep a minimum distance of 66 feet from leopard seals, not to disturb them by throwing things or making loud noises, keeping children and dogs away from them, and above all, never attempting to approach or touch a leopard seal. Number 5. Cone Snails Snails don't seem like dangerous creatures, for the obvious reason that most of them are tiny. So small, in fact, that we often don't even notice them around us as we go about our day. Even if we do notice them, we tend not to feel particularly threatened by them. But there's good reason to fear some of these seemingly harmless creatures, particularly water-dwelling cone snails. Native to the Indo-Pacific region, but found in all tropical and subtropical areas, cone snails encompass over 800 different species, many of which are equipped with some of the world's most lethal known venom. Cone snail venom is very complex, containing hundreds of different compounds, with the composition of these compounds varying widely between species. The numerous toxins, called conotoxins, target different nerve channels and receptors, and some also have pain-reducing effects. For this reason, scientists are investigating the potential medical uses for cone snail venom's pain-killing properties, and are trying to figure out how to isolate and safely utilize these substances. But they have a long way to go before cone snail venom is introduced into common use, because it's dangerous to experiment with. Cone snails attack by using a harpoon-like tooth to insert their venom into their target. Humans are most likely to fall victim by collecting them for their shells or maybe accidentally stepping on one, a mistake that can easily result in death, as there is no anti-venom available for treating these stings. Number 4. Cassowaries There are only two bird species known to be a very real and dangerous threat to humans, ostriches and cassowaries. Distantly related to emus, cassowaries are 
large flightless birds native to tropical habitats of Australia and Southeast Asia. There are three species of cassowary, and they vary in size, with the largest specimens standing as tall as 6 feet 6 inches and weighing up to 132 pounds. Equipped with muscular legs and three claw-tipped toes, with the largest claw reaching up to 5 inches, cassowaries are capable of inflicting severe, potentially lethal wounds to humans, including heavy bleeding and damage to internal organs. There are numerous real-life examples to back up these claims. In April last year, a cassowary attacked a 75-year-old Florida man who raised the exotic species on his property. The elderly gentleman went to the hospital where he lost his battle against his severe injuries. His family members said they were really surprised as he had raised them as chicks. While attacks against humans do happen, actual killings are not very common. Australia's most recent known occurrence of a cassowary fatally wounding a person was in 1926, when a 16-year-old teenager named Philip McLean fell to the ground while running from a cassowary and was cut in the throat. Despite these terrifying accounts, it is not customary for cassowaries to become aggressive toward humans in the first place. On the contrary, like most animals, they typically avoid confrontation with us when possible by fleeing our presence. To avoid an attack, people are urged not to feed cassowaries, not to bring their pets into known cassowary habitats, and to keep a deliberate distance from these birds. Number 3. Elephants Elephants are quite obviously massive, so it's easy to understand that they are certainly capable of inflicting great damage. But they are vegetarians who do not attack animals for their food, and they also have a widespread reputation as gentle giants, both in the wild and in captivity. So at the same time, it's difficult to picture an elephant wanting to cause harm, let alone actually doing it. While this is partially true, as pachyderms are highly intelligent and sensitive creatures, they too can be pushed to their limit, like any other wild animal. As human communities push further into elephants' wild habitats in certain parts of the world, attacks are on the rise. Every year, elephants kill at least 500 people, according to National Geographic, and it's mostly for this reason. But this isn't the elephant's fault. After all, we are imposing on their environment, and in many cases, when elephants attack, they are responding to human harassment, biologist Caitlin O'Connell Rodwell told National Geographic, but she also sympathizes with the human side of things. It is a difficult dilemma in areas where elephant habitat is shrinking and the human population is increasing, such that poor farmers have little choice but to expand their farms to make ends meet, Rodwell explained. Despite these increased attacks, elephants have more reason to fear us than the other way around, because evidence shows that they tend to fare far worse in confrontations than we do. Every year, around 1,000 elephants are killed between the ivory trade, their use as food, and when they wander into villages looking for food or water. In fact, elephants are dangerously close to extinction, and conservationists are scrambling desperately to save them. Captive elephants are also known to occasionally attack humans, most likely because they are not meant to be kept in confinement, no matter how accommodating the conditions might be. Simply put, these majestic giants are not meant for entertainment. They need the space their environments offer where they can engage in natural behaviors and live in large family groups. Number 2. Roadrunners You're probably familiar with the bird species known as a roadrunner based on the Looney Tunes cartoon. You know, the one that always outsmarted Wile E. Coyote. Formerly known as the Greater Roadrunner, these birds don't really look like the cartoon, but they can run at up to 20 miles per hour, making them one of few avian species that are fast enough to catch and kill a rattlesnake. Hardcore, right? They get the job done by grabbing the snake's head or tail and repeatedly smashing it against the ground until the snake is good and dead. Then the roadrunner swallows its prey whole, and if the snake is too long to be completely ingested at once, it will dangle from the bird's mouth until there is room in the predator's digestive system to handle more. While roadrunners generally don't attack humans, it happens from time to time, and they're known to become extremely aggressive, even though they aren't even that big. To add to that, although it's not typically in a roadrunner's custom to go after people, they are certainly not afraid of us. These mostly carnivorous birds, whose diet only consists of 10% plant material, do not hesitate to attack other birds and small mammals. They're even able to jump straight into the air, unlike many other birds, enabling them to catch a hummingbird in mid-flight. So even if you're not worried about yourself, which in some cases maybe you should be, spotting a roadrunner in your yard is certainly a cause for concern regarding the critters it may encounter. Number 1. 
Giant Anteater Native to the highlands of Central and South America, giant anteaters are insectivores, and they also have no teeth, as well as bad hearing and vision. So even if they do grow up to 7 feet long, they seem pretty harmless. But giant anteaters are also ready to defend themselves against other animals, including humans, when deemed necessary. Equipped with sharp 4-inch claws, a giant anteater could arguably win a fight against a human with one seemingly effortless swipe. Their track record of successfully standing their ground by winning battles against animals like pumas and jaguars is a testament to the giant anteater's ability to fight. There are also several known accounts of humans dying in confrontations with giant anteaters, including in 2012, when a hunter in Brazil's Amazon estate near the Peru border got into a scuffle with a giant anteater while trying to protect his two hunting dogs from the creature. He was severely wounded and unfortunately did not survive. Generally speaking, however, these creatures are docile. They have a naturally calm demeanor and tend to only get their claws out if another animal invades their territory or makes them feel threatened. Known attacks of anteaters against humans should serve as a warning to us to avoid encroaching on their habitat. Thanks for watching! Remember, animals are more afraid of us than we are of them. Remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more. See you soon! Bye!